from the longest bridge in the world to unbelievable superstructures. These are some of the biggest engineering projects ever. Number seven, the Interstate Highway System, USA. On June 29, 1956, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed the National Interstate and Defense Highways Act. The bill authorized federal spending of $25 billion, the equivalent of $250 billion today, to build 41,000 miles of interstate highways. It was at the time the biggest American public works project. The project's estimated completion time was only 10 years. In reality, it took at least 35 years. There's some arguments over when it was finally completed, since very small sections of highways, like the I-90 between New Jersey and Pennsylvania, were not completed even until 2018. So did it take 60 years to complete? Stuff like that. In total, the interstate highway system stretches 47,622 miles, with the longest being the I-90 coming in at 3,085.3 miles, going from Seattle to Boston. How much is 47,622 miles? Enough to loop around the equator, twice. The shortest part of the highway system is the 17.6 mile I-97, connecting Baltimore to Annapolis. It is estimated that the travel time between San Francisco to Pennsylvania was cut down from two months to around five days. And even though the total cost of the system is around $250 billion, it is believed that it has returned $6 for every dollar spent. Do you think society can undertake such a monumental, country-spanning project today? I'm not so sure. Number 6. Large Hadron Collider, France slash Switzerland. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, large refers to its size, Hadron, because it accelerates protons or ions, which belong to the group of particles called hadrons, and Collider, because the particles form two beams traveling in opposite directions, which are made to collide at four points around this machine. The LHC is the most powerful particle accelerator ever built. The accelerator sits in a tunnel as deep as 574 feet underground at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. The LHC consists of a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets with a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of the particles along the way. The first particle collisions were achieved in 2010, and since then, it has helped tremendously in the research of particle physics, and it might provide answers for some of science's most interesting unresolved questions. In 2018, the collider was shut down for further upgrades. It reopened in May 2021. Number 5. 10T Core Network Europe. Most road networks in the European Union were developed from a national viewpoint. The aim of 10 is to build a transport network that would facilitate the flow of goods and people between EU countries. The Trans-European Transport Network is a planned network of roads, railways, airports, and water infrastructure around all EU member countries. This project has been in the works, or at least in the minds of politicians, since 1990. 10T guidelines were officially adopted in 1996, and in 2017, it was decided that the network would be extended into Eastern Europe. Wow, very nice. In 2019, the furthest eastern expansion reached Armenia. I'm not sure how current this information is, but the estimated total length of roadways and highways built under 10T is 55,000 miles, which, as we learned, is a very, very large number. Number 4. Maglev High Speed Rail Project, Japan Known as Chuo Shinkansen, this incredibly ambitious megaproject aims to connect Tokyo City to Nagoya and eventually Osaka. The line would operate at maximum speeds of 311 miles per hour and will connect Tokyo and Nagoya in 40 minutes, as well as Tokyo and Osaka in 67 minutes. Tunnels will make up about 90% of the 178 mile line to Nagoya. This project is the culmination of Japanese maglev development that started in the 1970s. The government gave its blessing on this construction design and work commenced in 2014. The total cost of the project is estimated at around 9 trillion yen, or about 82 billion dollars. JR Central, the company behind the project, believes the line will begin commercial service between Tokyo and Nagoya in 2027 and the extra section to Osaka by 2037. Number 3. Panama Canal, Panama. 
The Panama Canal is a 51-mile-long man-made waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans in Panama. The Panama Canal is one of the world's greatest and most difficult engineering projects ever undertaken. Due to the combination of tropical rainforests, debilitating climates, and the need for canal locks, and the lack of any ancient route to follow. During its construction, it was controlled by Colombia, France, and eventually the United States. The French effort went bankrupt in 1889 after reportedly spending $287 billion. An estimated 22,000 men died from disease and accidents, and the savings of 800,000 investors were lost. The project was taken over by the United States in 1904 and the canal was completed on August 15, 1914. The Panama Canal cost Americans around $370 billion, including the $10 billion paid to Panama and the $40 billion paid to the French company. It was the single most expensive construction project in the United States history at the time. The canal and adjacent Panama Canal Zone remained under U.S. authority until the Torrijos-Carter Treaties of 1977. David McCullough, in his book The Path Between the Seas, wrote, The creation of water passage across Panama was one of the supreme human achievements of all time, the culmination of a heroic dream of over 400 years and of more than 20 years of phenomenal effort and sacrifice. The 50 miles between the oceans were among the hardest ever won by human effort and ingenuity, and no statistics on tonnage or tolls can begin to convey the grandeur of what was accomplished. Primarily, the canal is an expression of that old and noble desire to bridge the divide, to bring people together. It is a work of civilization. Yeah, so, um, I guess it's a pretty big deal. Number 2. The Three Gorges Dam, China The Three Gorges Dam is a hydroelectric gravity dam that spans the Yangtze River. The power plant itself outputs 22,500 megawatts, which is the most in the world. The dam generates, on average, 95 terawatt hours of electricity per year. And after the 2020 monsoon season, it holds the record for most electricity produced in a year, at 112 terawatt hours. Construction began in 1994, and at the time, was the largest engineering project ever designed by China. In 2006, after 12 years of grueling construction, the dam body was complete. The power plant took another 6 years to construct. It is said that the Three Gorges Dam has significantly reduced the potential for floods downstream, but if 2020 is any indicator of what's to come, flooding will again be a rising issue for millions of people. In this picture, you can see the massive floodgates the dam utilizes when water levels reach capacity. On top of that, an unintended consequence of the massive dam is the rise in landslides that have become a major point of contention, both domestically and abroad. You won't believe this, but in 2005, NASA scientists calculated that the water mass stored by this dam would increase the length of the Earth's day by 0.06 microseconds. Thanks, China. The total cost of this dam can't really be put into simple monetary terms. As of 2008, China has relocated some 1.2 million residents upstream from the dam. 13 cities, 140 towns, and 1,350 villages were flooded. Some 4 million more are going to be encouraged to move to nearby cities as well. In terms of money spent, it's estimated the dam cost around $37 billion to build. Number 1. Sheikh Jaber Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway, Kuwait. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of this causeway again, so heretofore after it will be known as the bridge. Anyway, this causeway, or bridge, is one of the largest, most challenging transport infrastructures project in the entire Middle East, connecting Kuwait City to Northern Kuwait and Kuwait City with Doha. Its approximate cost is $3 billion. The project is only a small part of a giant web the so-called Belt and Road Initiative of China, known as One Belt, One Road in English, is a seriously massive global infrastructure development strategy spanning some 70 countries. The geopolitical unrest this has caused prompted the United States, Japan, and Australia to initiate the Blue Dot Network in 2019, a similar transportation project. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.